Though it was his first official Collier County School Board meeting, newly elected board member Jerry Rutherford is already facing calls for his removal from that board. After comments he made the day after his election last month on his stance for corporal punishment in school classrooms. However, comments he refused to clarify for some parents tonight. Fox 4 anchor Nadine Giannis was at that hours long meeting and caught up with Rutherford on his way out. And Nadine, take us through what happened tonight with us. Well, Chris, this was his first official meeting and the day after he was elected, you had mentioned it. Rutherford was asked, would you support that paddling makes education better based on some previous comments? And he said it wouldn't make education better, but it would make discipline better. Since then, this has now caused a firestorm on social media, even calling for his removal. So he had his orientation today, first official school board meeting. I waited to see if he wanted to clear up or clarify or maybe refute corporal punishment. All things he refused and said he said he wants to just let it all go. How are you? Fine, but I've got to go home. I've been here all day long. I know it's I been a long day. <laughs> And uh, well, I just wanted to see if you wanted a chance to clear anything up. I know that you felt like you were misheard or misquoted. It's, it's all out there and, and, and I've, I'm through with it. I'm just letting it go. Fox 4 caught up with Jerry Rutherford after his first official special school board meeting tonight, following the fallout for what he said the morning after he was elected, suggesting corporal punishment and paddling would make for better discipline, a statement he refused to explain further wanting to now let it all go. Have you changed your tune on it or do you still support? No, it was wrong to begin with and I'm not going to say anything else. Okay, what part was wrong? So we're, we're clear in our reporting tonight. I'm not going to talk about it. You've got all the information you need. I'm sorry. Okay, so what part of it was wrong you didn't want to say? No, right. I've said it. Have you, have you regretted saying anything? But parents like Dustin LaPola weren't ready to let him off the hook so easily at the special meeting tonight, only open for public comment on special topics like spending $180,000 to hire a second attorney only for the school board. Mr. Rutherford made some asinine comments. I probably didn't think very much about him. And honestly, I don't expect him to. He has one foot in the grave and no skin in the game. So if it actually gets implemented, obviously we're going to have a problem somewhere down the line. LaPola has three kids in Collier County schools. I don't want my kids to be beat in school. That's not how you learn. Studies have shown that that's not how these children will learn. Retired school teacher and Collier County resident of 21 years, Sandy Button, feels just as strongly. The man did not misspeak. He was quoted directly. He made a, uh, an effort to seek out uh, public notice, and um, he's wrong. And though corporal punishment wasn't on tonight's agenda, there was at least one parent who showed support, refusing to talk to me on camera today. But. This wasn't addressed by the board, even though there is a firestorm on social media fueled by child psychiatrist, nurse practitioner Laura Luray, who's also a social media influencer, made aware of the comments by a former Collier County student concerned. Ultimately, what I what I would like to happen is to have such a a large eye on this that virtually this would this corporal punishment or physical discipline, however, Mr. Rutherford wants to categorize it. It's not going to be able to happen unchecked. So it's important to note that Florida law leaves it up to the district's policy on corporal punishment. And here in Collier County, at least now, it is not allowed in the classrooms. What happens moving forward? We are not sure, but we do know there are now calls, nearly 2,000 emails sent to Governor Ron DeSantis's office to remove Rutherford from office. Our Fox 4 investigative team yesterday reached out to the governor for a comment or on that, or if he wanted to address it at all. And we are still waiting to hear back, but a lot of development happening here in Collier County and Fox 4 will sure to stay on top of it. And so then we are live in Naples. I'm Nadine Giannis. Back to you.